Hi there, I'm Laura from Get Organized HQ and see these little boxes? They're actually called bead boxes. Now, the thing is, I don't use any beads, so like, why would I need a bead box? Because they're presumably for storing beads. But the thing is, just like I store everything but photos in my photo boxes, I realized I could use these for all sorts of things besides the beads. So I've found 30 amazing uses for these that I'm gonna share with you. These little boxes are a exact square, about three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and they're about one inch high, and then they have like a hinged lid, so you just pull it open and the lid stays attached. You're not gonna be losing your lids, and it also secures very firmly, which I love. So these little things, they're not falling out. That means if you wanna toss this in like a purse or a diaper bag or for travel, it's great, nothing is going anywhere. I also love, as with most things that they stack up and line up so nicely you can put them like this or like standing up in a drawer and of course for those of you who are obsessed with labels like i am there's a perfect spot for a label also these are one of the most affordable organizers that i have bought love that and they're super easy to get on amazon it should go without saying that you can store beads in these. They're actually called bead boxes. So if you're into jewelry making or my kids have the aqua beads, they'll store nicely in here. Small craft supplies. And for me personally, I love chalk couture. So it's perfect for chalkable chips, stir sticks, the little squeegees. So many of the chalk supplies fit perfectly in here. If I could only pick my one top favorite use for these, it would be for jewelry when traveling. I have so many jewelry that did not actually fit well into traditional travel jewelry containers, even like these earrings, but almost every item I have fits perfectly in the bead boxes. They're self-contained and I know that nothing's gonna get tangled up and they're gonna be protected. Any kind of wipes like those hand wipes or I always use those glass cleaning wipes and then you can toss them in your side table, your purse, for travel, anywhere. If you still have those old fashioned earbuds without a case that have the wire like I do, they fit perfectly in here and are nicely protected. Cords that aren't too thick or big like for your smaller electronics. Washi tape that I know a lot of people use for crafting that like masking tape that's colorful and pretty can be super organized in here. I can always use more sticky notes and the smaller size of those fits perfectly in here. And again, if you wanna always have them on hand somewhere like your purse or in your junk drawers, so they're not just floating around, fit perfectly. So I already told you that I love using these for jewelry when traveling, but the next thing I love them for when traveling is cough drops. I always put these in my bag when I'm traveling and I like that they're not just floating around and I feel like they're not gonna get crushed. Really any kind of hard candy that's individually wrapped, like the Werther's caramels. My daughter has the Our Generation dolls from Target and a ton of different accessories. And a lot of those accessories are teeny tiny and really hard to organize, but we found that they fit great in here. Small scraps of ribbon, and I really like to do this by color so you can easily have like all your reds together and all your greens together and really actually use those scraps of ribbon that you say you're gonna use. Another one that I love organizing by color is buttons. Almost any size button will fit in here and you can fit quite a few in one and you can see at a glance what colors you have. Hair ties, and this will go in your bathroom drawer or wherever you get ready in the morning. I like putting smaller hair bows, obviously the larger hair bows won't fit because they won't get squished in here. And speaking of hair items, the little barrettes that my daughter wears every single day fit great in here and you can fit a ton of them and it'll keep them corralled and they're not like sliding all over the drawer. Small or medium binder clips. You can create a little mini sewing kit to do emergency repairs on the go, like a little bit of thread, and needles and even a seam ripper or a thimble will fit nicely. So no matter where I am, I always like to have various size band-aids and even gauze on hand. So I like to fix up a little kit with all the different sizes in one. Another office use is for storing paper clips. And if you're like me and you're obsessed with office supplies and you have all different colors, you can even micro organize them with these. If you have a bulletin board, you can store push pins in here. And I also like that because now your hand is protected from getting hurt on the push pin. 
I do not call myself a gardener, but I do dabble a little bit in planting and I never use the entire seed packet. So I like to roll it up and then put it in one of these boxes. Now, if you're not into having a giant rubber band ball, you can just put your rubber bands in these little bead boxes. Now we've already talked obviously about how these are great for storing beads, but even if you make jewelry that doesn't use beads, there's lots of tiny jewelry supplies that fit well in here like earring backs. Coins are nice to have both in your junk drawer or in the car, and you can even have one box for each type of coin so you can keep them straight. Not only are these good for storing small cords, but also any kind of those extra cord ties will fit well in here. My kids love those temporary tattoos and we're always giving them at birthday parties and things. So we have a lot of those on hand. And if you go ahead and perforate them, most of them will fit nicely in here. I have both Silhouette and Cricut and an X-Acto knife and all of those refill blades fit great in here. I actually recommend that you put one per type and then label it so you know this is for the Cricut or this is for the Silhouette or this is the deep cut or the shallow cut because I'm constantly looking that up. If you have a letter board, it's really important to organize your letters so it doesn't take you forever to create the sayings. And with this, you could put one letter in each box so you can keep them all straight. Lots of different types of small hardware will fit great in here, like nails, screws, nuts and bolts, and then you can kind of micro organize it so you have all of the same size in one place. I love command hooks and all command products and I have tons of those refill strips. They fit nicely in here. And again, I can micro organize them by large, medium and small so I don't have to go rifling through a big bin every time I need one. Now that you know what all you can fit in here, let's talk about where these bead boxes actually store well in your home. First of all, this was a total coincidence, but this canvas bin also from Amazon literally looks like it was made for the bead boxes. Two side by side fit perfectly. You can also put labels and you can just pull one out for what you need. So I love this canvas bin for that purpose. They also fit standing up in most drawers. So like my standard kitchen drawers, my crafting drawers from Ikea. And I really like that because you're really maximizing your space and you can easily see what you have. These will fit in almost any size purse from small to medium to large and just keeps the things from floating around everywhere and anything that you don't want to have crushed will also go nicely in here. In addition to purses, of course, in any kind of tote bag or diaper bag, they would also go well. Because these are so small, they also fit well in a car in most glove boxes, in the center console. So if you just want to store things in your car, these are great for that. Now, these boxes are pretty small and I found still a lot of uses for them, but if you want something that's even more versatile, that will hold even more things, I highly recommend photo boxes. And I have another video very similar to this where I show you all the different ways you can use photo boxes from binder clips, we have cards, receipts, so much more than even these bead boxes will hold. So I recommend you go watch that next. Click the link over here or down below.